it's November. In Japan, autumn is known as Aki. That means something like autumn or fall, depending on where you are. Aki is a special time of the year and we are entering the last month of the autumn here in November. You can see some trees have dropped its leaves. This is a Malus Siboldi, a crab apple, almost lost all of its leaves and a single fruit I missed is sitting there shrinking in. But not all trees drop their leaves at the same time. Some will yellow before others, some will get those uh, beautiful red and orange colors. And that is because the chlorophylls, the green corns of the leaves, sucking up most of the light for growth, is broken down. And that lets you experience the underlying colors that takes off different rays of light for each their purpose. But the greens are the most dominant and they are adding the most volume on the tree. So when you have a red variety of a Japanese maple or a beech, for example, they will grow typically slower than the original green colored leaves varieties. <laughs> I introduced it in the latest podcast, the Nordic style, feeling, mood, whatever we want to call it. A new way of looking at our bonsai, not just having this neat moss surface covering the soil, the simplicity that we have adapted from Japan, because sometimes we can do a little extra, we can give it a twist, we can add something new or something exciting, something closely related to our nature and sometimes we seem to forget that bonsai is not just copying a Japanese style or a Chinese style for that matter. We can adapt it to our own environment and how we live and the nature surrounding us. The point of bonsai is to reflect what we see in our nature, not just copying what we see at the YouTube or at pictures coming from Japan or wherever it is. We have to try to see if we can develop the art, but I will not dig a lot into that. I think you should just listen to the podcast and then I will begin to change this birch, native birch found just 100 meters from here into a more naturalistic style of bonsai. And when I use the word naturalistic, I do not mean to be sloppy. I still will adapt the precision and uh, the mood and way we have learned to do bonsai from Japan. But I will give the, that extra feeling of the tree sitting not just on a rock somewhere in Sweden or Norway, where I have this uh, inspiration for this uh, work. I have collected a few shrubs, ferns of different kinds and oxalis uh, to add to the bottom cover here to add that feeling that I have seen when I walked around a Norwegian forest recently and I have done that before. Now it's the time to try to adapt that to this birch. <music> from Peggy that I would like to read up about clump style bonsai and raft style bonsai. How to style a clump? I use cuttings in groups but don't know what to aim for. It is true that the clump style have similarities to the forest style. Exactly that's why I'm standing in front of a bigger forest and a smaller one. The big difference though is that the clump style you have trunks sitting very close to each other and at the forest style we divide them a little adding some space so we have that look into a forest 
The important thing is that you at the start at least have the end roots when you tip the tree to grow into the soil. You can pack them with, with mosses or something else so they stay wet and grow into the soil. In today's species, we are looking into a different kind of pine, the mountain pine or the Pinus mugo. First of all, when introducing that type of material as a bonsai material, I have selected two ordinary nursery stocks from a garden center, and you will find them uh, anywhere in all garden centers, very popular as a small shrub for the garden. And for bonsai, we have to take some precautions when we are looking into exactly that species. The most interesting part is the line that curves a little here. I have a few branches down here, so I'll start removing the top. And this might seem brutal, but it's a great way to go down in size and use other branches for the future without thinking so much about the time it will take. This a little up. And I take care not to break the branch moving slowly. Not much more than that. I have put up my board here so I can make a little sketch for you and if these are bots for the next year or appearing during spring and even develop into leaves, if you be cut behind this, then this part will die off. There will not be any new growth. So when you prune, you have to do it above two bots so these will develop.